Thank you, guys. Welcome back to another video. And today, City have been linked with three players for a potential summer transfer. Big ones, especially a return for Leroy Sane. Guys, make sure you stay tuned, smash a like, subscribe, and get your comments in down below on these three players. Let's start off with this player, Jared Branthwaite from Everton. Now, we know Manchester City are massive fans of Branthwaite from Everton. Obviously, he plays with the ball at his feet. Great football player like that. He'd suit into Pep Guardiola's system. We've obviously had John Stones. We've got great success from him when he come from Everton. Um, and obviously, as you can see from screen here, this has been reported from the Daily Mail, Manchester United, Tottenham, Real Madrid, apparently also interested in the player. 21 years old and, of course, now making his debuts for England in this international break. Listen, I really like this player. The one thing that I would say about this, and I've said it before, is that I am a slightly confused about if we do sign him, Surely we're going to have to sell one of our centre-backs. Now, we know that Nathan Ake was linked with a move to Chelsea not long back. However, that fell through. And I don't think anyone watching this video would, would be happy to sell uh, Nathan Ake. Manuel Akanji has been our best defender. And again, these are not old players, by the way. Ruben Diaz is, when he's on form and at his best, one of the best centre-backs in the world. John Stones, of course, is more in the mould of a Branthwaite. But I know he's got injury problems, but are you really telling me you're going to sell John Stones? Like, that's just ridiculous. I don't think anyone would agree to that as well. So, for me, I'm just like, who, who, who are we selling? Because you can't keep all these players. You know what I mean? You, like, it's just ridiculous. It's going to cost a lot of money. He's got a big contract there as well. But, of course, Branthway is a player that Manchester City are going to be very, very interested on. Maybe we want to sign him because we don't want anyone else to sign him. But then you're going to have to sell someone. I'm not really looking at this and going... I'm happy to sell any of them players because I'm really not. I think all those players are minute. Of course, I'm not even spoke about Gavardi or someone who's not even played at centre back yet, but will surely play at centre back at some point. So, listen, I think for me, if Brandweight is being sold this summer, I just feel whilst I'd love to have him at Manchester City, I don't see that happening. We've got too many centre backs to accommodate another one. And for me, I just think this is maybe one for a year's time, maybe two years' time. But the chances are he's probably not going to be at Everton in a year or two's time. I'm sorry to say for any Everton fans watching this, because he's just so good. Like, he should be playing at least Europa League football, let alone Champions League. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Good player, but for me, just not the right time, in my opinion. Let's have a look at this one. Now, this one is a, is a, is a really interesting one, because a lot of City fans want him, and it's doable. Bruno Guimaraes, however you say his name, at Newcastle. He's obviously got that £100 million release clause that we all know about. He played for Brazil against England the other day. And he's a player that, listen, we probably need an upgrade on, on a Kovacic, on a Nunes at the moment. Because, you know, we lost Gundogan. We didn't really replace him with, with major talent. But, and of course, he does have a release clause of £100 million, quid, which we know City love re release clauses. And let's be real, it, Newcastle... Probably not going to be playing European football. They might sneak Conference League or maybe Europa League at a push, but he wants to be playing Champions League football and he's available for 100 million quid. You don't even have to speak to Newcastle. You can just deposit the money in their account and away you go. Um, he's a player that I like. Am I desperate to sign him right now? No, I don't think he's had a particularly great season for Newcastle. However, Newcastle have, have been poor and obviously they've had major injury crisis. So that could play a part into why he's not been great. Listen, I think if we signed him, obviously be happy, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be high up on my list. To be honest, I think a hundred million quid is at the top end of what you'd be wanting to pay for him, given the fact he's had you know not the best season in the world. But again, like he's available, and and if we want a player like that, which which maybe we do, then are you going to mess around getting some inexperienced player at the same price? So you can go and get him, who's got Champions League experience, got Premier League experience. I just, I'm not really feeling this deal at the moment. But this one, guys, take a look at this. Now, this was um, yesterday. Uh, this is Tomi speaking on City and Bayern Munich. Now, we know City are looking at um, Kimmich. We know that we're looking at Musiala. And obviously, Cancelo potentially might go the other way. But a player that I feel left too soon, I felt left Manchester City way too early, is Leroy Sane. Now, Tomi says here, Leroy Sane wants to come home. And he puts home in brackets, would you? Would you, Pep, um, Tommy, they're asking Pep Guardiola whether or not he'd, he'd, he'd have Leroy Sane. But listen, Leroy Sane, for me, I said it then, I think he left City too early. I think he was promised a dream at Bayern Munich, that he'd go to Bayern Munich and he'd be the star boy, you know, German, he'd be the one. But it's not really worked out like that, of course. I mean, Bayern Munich have struggled since he's gone there. Not his fault, they've just struggled um, with managerial appointments. You know, the signings that they made, some of them have not really worked out. The midfield is poor. 
you now got the likes of Kimmich and Musiala, who are, whose contracts are running down, potentially might leave. They signed Harry Kane, even though he's doing well. Obviously, the team still isn't really doing that good. So, I don't know, man. I, listen, obviously, we spoke about this recently when we did the uh, Bakayoko video and about do we need another winger? Now, Leroy Sane, for me, whilst he might not have hit the heights that maybe he wanted to expect and, and maybe the Bayern Munich fans and, and the club wanted to expect, I do feel that he's developed in a different way. Now, Hear me out. I'm not saying he's got massively better, but I feel like he's developed a lot more part of his game. And the reason I say that is whenever I watch him for Bayern, he, he plays in he's played in numerous positions. He played left, he played on the right, and he's played in, in the middle. Now at City, he mainly played off of that left-hand side. It would be interesting to see if he come into City, could we get a tune out of him on that right-hand side? Or maybe back on the left, but it seems to me that the right-hand side is more of an issue at, at the moment for City. And I think he could potentially do it. I, I do. I, I, I I'm interested to know what other City fans think about this or whether they want him back. Because I know some City fans are like, if a player leaves, that's it, they're gone. You know what I mean? Don't want him back. You know, Cancelo, for example. But Sane, he didn't leave on bad terms. He just wanted to go back to Germany, which is completely fine for any player. Sometimes, you know, you want to go back to your home country. That's completely reasonable. Um, he didn't have a bust up with the fans. You know, I, I was gutted when he left. And um, I don't think he had a bust up with Pep Guardiola either. I just think, it, like, I, I think it's just as simple as the guy just, was German and he wanted to go back to Germany and Bayern Munich sold him a dream and it didn't really work out. I, I would I would be happy to go back in for Leroy Sane. I think there's unfinished business for Leroy Sane at Manchester City. I feel that maybe maybe he recognises that, you know, maybe he recognises that he shouldn't have left as well. You know what I mean? And that's obviously what Tommy's saying. He wants to come back home. And, and I feel that, you know, you could potentially get him at a decent price. I don't think he's got too... I think he's got a year left on his deal as well. I don't know what Bayern Munich are doing, but that's a separate conversation. But what are Bayern Munich doing all these contracts? And if you can get him at a decent price, I, w I would potentially... No, I wouldn't potentially. I would pull the trigger because he can play right, he can play left, he can play up top if you need him to. And I think if he come back to City, I think he'd be really, really dialed in because, you know... It's fair to say that Leroy Sane's career has stalled a little bit since leaving Manchester City. And yes, he's done all right. You know, his GNA is impressive and that. But, you know, being at Bayern, it's just not really worked out in the way that he would have hoped. And I think, come back to Manchester City, we just won the treble. You know, hopefully win another treble this year. But obviously, it's going to be tough. And go again next year. Bernardo Silva was pretty much, you know, I think we all got to accept that he's pretty much gone, gone in the summer. There's going to be that right wing spot available. And right now, it's anyone's position. You know what I mean? You've got Oscar Bob that could potentially play there. Um, you know, that's pretty much it at the moment. You know, you've got Savio that could play there if he comes in and stays. You've got Doku that could play there. But it's up for debate. You know, it's up for it's up for grabs. There is not a clear, obvious choice. Like when Mahrez left this summer, it was still obviously going to be Bernardo Silva, right? And, and now that Foden's been moved into the middle, there really is going to be, it's it's an open spot in the team for someone to take. And if Leroy Sane looks at it and says, I'm up for the challenge, you got you got to battle Doku, you got to battle Savio, you might have to battle... Paqueta, if he gets played on there, or maybe we'll get someone else, I don't know. But I, I'm I'm game for this. I, I think he left too soon, guys. I think Leroy Sane left too soon. And for me, I would be all over this deal. I think you could get him at a decent price. And I just don't see why not. And, and, and let's be honest, the options are, are, are pretty grim, man. I mean, we're speaking about Bakayoko. We're speaking about Savio, potentially Doku. Like I say, none of them are really like, yes, that's 100% the play that's going to be playing there. So for me, I'm happy for this deal. If we can get it. I'm all game for it. If there's no issues, I guess the major thing is, was there an issue between Pep Guardiola and Leroy Sane when he left? I don't think there is. There was no rumours at the time. Like with Sterling, there was always the rumours that he had an argument and a bit of a bust up about playing time. There was none of that with Sane. It was just that he wanted to go back to Germany. So I think if this is available, personally, I'm going for it. And I know some City fans might think he's a bit lazy or whatever. I think if he come back to City, I think he'd be dialed in because I think he I think he knows he made a mistake. Still got his flat in Manchester by all accounts. His girlfriend's a City fan. I think we should send it. Guys, let me know in the comment section below. Should Manchester City go back in for Leroy Sane? Branthwaite as well. What do you think on that? I like the player, but where's he going to play? We're already stacked. Gavardio, centre-back. Center back. not even played there yet. Do you know what I mean? Let us know in the comment section below. Smash a like. Make sure you subscribe. I will be live tonight. We're going to do a live stream tonight. It's just been a bit quiet over the last few days. So I've just done a couple of videos. I'm going to do a live stream tonight. So make sure you join me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.